All right, YouTube viewers. Here we have this 1981 antique brass original with adapter. This is the third adapter fan I've came across. First one being a white and brass that I sold to Dan Newman. Second being my R52, which I'm still working on. This is my third one. And it's basically perfect in antique brass. Um, I don't know what else to say with the fan. I'm very happy with it. It's a little wobble free quiet. Runs overall very good. Um, uh, first I'll show you the reverse mechanism working. Excuse me, I'll be in the a little bit. You can see, I mean this one, probably the smoothest adapter I've ever had. Oh yeah, it's now a little rough, this thing turns like nothing. Let's go ahead and put it through paper though. Let's go ahead and go a little. A two steam motor. The finish is in very good condition. Um, only thing I've changed on this fan is originally the adapter came with four newer screws to hold it. I had four antique brass older screws that the originals. So I traded those out so the antique brass with antique brass hides it better instead of seeing those silver screws. Um, so this low is awesome. So it's very fast and still very good. Let's go ahead and go to high. Excuse me. High, this thing just hauls ass. <laughs> sorry if there's little kids watching. I curse, sorry. Okay. Alright, so let's get a little closer, shall we? Switch cap when I bought it, not the light kit, and I don't want to put light kits on it usually. I'm gonna let that run for a little bit. I'm gonna show you. Here's what else I got in the package. It came with an extra blade. It was a set of five blades from Texas Ceiling Fans. Um, the reverse side is the lighter color. I like the darker color of antique brass. So that's my extra guy. I'm keeping that just in case, God forbid, something does happen to that fan or blades. Then there's the grommet, the hook, and the three extra grommets, which I'll probably just put in that blade so I don't move them. So, and this fan I believe came from John Wood. I'm sorry if it's not your name. I, I know a lot of people. <laughs> I'm thinking that your name was John Wood. So. Man, that's a sight of the hole right there. That is a great fan right there. I'm so happy I got that. This is one of those fans I will be keeping in my collection. A, because the finish is in good condition. B, because it's an adapter. And C, because it's an antique brass. So there's a lot of thing, reasons for me to keep this in my collection. Good means it's been oiled through most of its life, if not taken care of. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm honestly kind of speechless on this fan. I didn't think I was gonna win it for what I was bidding. Um, so when I actually won it, I was super surprised and amazed. I think my max bid I had, I think, up to 270, 250, and it stopped before I think it got. No, I don't think it ever got over 200. I don't recall. I gotta look back at that bit, bit history. Once again, it's in a good home. I will definitely take care of it. This might be an install for my room, actually, because I like it that much. That's actually because I really like the black and chrome. It's a custom one I did a long time ago. A long time ago being two years. I don't even know if you can hear me over here. I'm kind of far away. I'm putting those grommets in that blade, actually. I figured I'd do it before I forgot or something else. Up. Just lead behind the 
camera right now. Well, I'm gonna put on it. Oh, there's a little bit. Just because we have time, I'm gonna go ahead and do a straight to high. Here we go. Alright, as always, thanks for watching.